What's going on, guys? This is Eric Johnson. And I'm Michael Freeman. Hey, guess what? This well, is episode 10. Holy shit. We made it to an episode 10. Oh, man, this is where it stops. God damn it. <laughs> Dude, what, like two weeks away from the sacrifice? Something like that. Nonetheless, we are starting off with a pre-show bout between Chris Hero and Caprice Coleman. And, of course, no incidents this week. It's kind of kind of boring. Hey, the yeah, happy locker room is okay for me. Yeah, it makes it seriously more exciting when you have all the incidents and shit. Yeah, but at the same point, it also dicks with everything. No one wants to wrestle. Everyone hates you. People start turning in their notices. It's not fun. Yeah, them hostile environments, it's tough to... I'm sure something will happen. Be, there, there, there will be some backstage turmoil. Someone will start something. it's either going to be Jeff's going to start something, Psychosis is going to start something, or uh, who else might, might start something? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, any improvements? None, of course. And then another pre-show match. Oh, uh, that's why it's on the pre-show. Who's doing better? It's supposed to be there. Uh, Monty Brown had a 39. Okay. He's pretty close to beginning on the main show. Zanin still has to work. Bryce Benjamin has to work. So I want to send these guys both down to developmental. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. What a debut match for both of these guys. Even though Masa Hero is Below leader. average comic book hero. Oh, it's Black Charisma got legendary. The best. Of course. And he's leaving us for New Japan. It's like, well, we just put him over in America. Thank you, Masa Hero Jonah, for taking the J-O-B and losing. And giving us a 70 Great wrestling and a decent reaction from the what a nice start. Oh, man. Just a shock to the fans. Of course. All right. Wow, that was nice. Nice 60C there. And we've got the crowd hotter. This is sick. Everything nice. we do, they love it. They love everything we do. I love it. No, seriously. We could do, we could throw out anything and we'll get the crowd hotter. Like, this is great. Oh, I already know one segment that's going to bring the crowd down. So we got AJ Styles. Finds the almost lifeless body of D'Lo. Who beat up D'Lo? I wonder who it could be. He has so many enemies, doesn't he? He does. Oh, shit. Sandman and uh, Christopher Daniels Dude, match. Great chemistry. Great chemistry. Dude, another 70. Yeah, there you go. Um, wow, that was excellent. Wow. Okay, er everything Christopher Daniels touches is gold. <laughs> well, there's a reason we're going to be pushing him. Well, we might. We are pushing him. Uh... Not right. trying to spoil anything. Uh, and Jeff Hardy accidentally runs into psychosis. I mean, he kind of starts a feud, so. I got something. You know, overspoke coffee or something stupid like that. I don't know. Can't all be gems. They kind of walk into each other like a, like a corner, right? They don't yeah. know. What are you doing, Holmes? Huh? They because start you, arguing. Because you know, any Hispanic wrestler has to be a racial stereotype. This is the wrestling business. Yes. CM Punk struggled going off script this week. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yes, BG James got assaulted. Uh, he got isolated. So, there's... He'll be out for a bit. He yeah, he might. Ooh, shit. Yeah. I figured that would happen. Abyss out of 47. Slash out of 46. Hey, Slash is getting better. Jose Maximo had a 55. So, eh. Yeah. What it is, it's not that bad. And the Slash ain't suited to his gimmick. Of course not. James Mitchell did good work at ringside. That, that's a nice boost to the rating. Yeah. Shane right. Douglas in China uh, segment got a 58C-. I mean, it's gonna suck. So Shane Douglas is knocking on the door of uh, Kevin Nash's locker room. So curious. And he got China instead. Douglas warns China to, but your your little boyfriend, Kevin Nash, is going to get his ass beat next week. Is that, you know? Yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, Sid, v so uh, Chris Saban's match. Uh, he got a nice uh, surprise with Sid Vicious. He beat him with a future shock, forty-seven D match. Problem is, uh, looks like Sid Vicious got a percussive ankle stretch. Well, it's a good injury. thing he's not our worker. Uh, I would like to see what the hell that injury is. Where is my phone? Uh, I'm not going to remember that. What the fuck is a percussive ankle stretch? Yeah, let me Google it real quick. Please do. I am very curious. Before what the? You sim for next time. Oh, I'm not. I, I'm not gonna hit nothing. What I'm gonna try per to percussive. Ankle 
Or, or I think it's percussive. Percussive ankle stretch. What the fuck does that mean? Is it bad? Is it good? Uh, ankle stretch exercise is what I got. What? Is he just what put injury it? after? How's it come up now? It's a sprained ankle. Oh, he sprained his ankle. Just fucking say that then. <laughs> what the fuck? So he sprained his ankle. All right. Yes. Thank you, Jim Neidhart. Appreciate it. Uh, and so Michael Shane talks trash to Chris Saban, saying, "Look, man, I could be, I could do this shit with one hand tied behind my back. You had an old guy to beat. It wasn't that hard. Motherfuckers limping up the ramp here as we're talking. Yeah, you hurt him. How dare I think you? He's mad. I think he's griping at his pay for the night. I don't think he wanted to do the job, but you know. And then he gets hurt. I mean, come on, this is bullshit. Uh, fifty-eight C minus angle, not bad." So uh, we finally get. So we have to handle these changes. Um, complete the turn. Did they complete the game so? Switched his agent gimmick below average. The turn was actually a complete success. It just wasn't very well received. Yeah. So Richard Alexander introduces himself as Jeff Jarrett's agent, and he says, uh, "AJ Styles will have to uh, face Nathan Jones and Ryan Reeves in a handicap match tonight." In which AJ Styles will win. Um, AJ Styles defeated Double J Security in 1530 when AJ Styles defeated Ryan Reeves by pinfall with the Styles Clash. That's insane. Nathan Jones and Ryan Reeves had great chemistry teaming together. Wow, they actually have worked it out. Yeah, they, they, they now have great chemistry. Good. They can be a viable tag team. Which is perfect because the next uh, segment we have Nathan Jones and Ryan Reeves just pummeling AJ Styles That's three through the announce table. That's three B's. Yep. And that is the end of the show. What a hell of a show that was. A lot of beatdowns, but we should get a decent rating for that. A 60 C. We actually lost popular po- popularity in one region. I wonder why. I don't know. I wonder what region that is. Hopefully not one. We gained an 18, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah. As long as we gain more in areas and we lose, I'm happy. Why do we lose? We, you didn't we, use enough characters from my location. We're mad. Yeah. Yeah, you have people in Asia going, you didn't show enough Chinese. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. I'm either. joking. No, that's what you. That's what MMA, WMMA does. The they, they, gets if you don't have a, if you don't uh, have a demographic shown in an area you're covered in, they get all pissed. Wow. So you have to. That's basically why you see uh, okay. me. That's why me and RBM are always constantly off. Man, we need Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Start looking at Japanese people. Um, so that point one, we're still that point oh one. Oh, what? Are unhappy with the quality of last night's NWA TV? Oh. Why? I'm not. I'm not happy with the way I've been booked. Okay, so you're gonna get in a feud with Christopher Daniels. You'll get some wins. You'll get some wins. So uh, you might be in a feud with him. Paul London relocated to the Great Lakes. Okay. Like <laughs> right. what, Ohio or something? Chris Harris. One. Oh, okay. That's right. We got him on written. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How long is he going to miss? Just curious. Um, oh, okay. It's a minor injury. Yeah, he twisted his ankle. Fuck him. So it's only it says it's just a couple so why of really days. Mad at us? What's their minimum quality? Or they they. Oh, let's cutting. take a look. Broadcasting. They maybe cut vision. us from cut sixty-five. We got sixty. That's why we had three Bs. What? How about cut us, please? Get rid of us so we can get better fucking TV. I don't think cable vision is the one we got to worry about. Only three more months. What are they? Oh, they're a pay-per-view provider. They're a pretty big. Yeah. It's all pay-per-view. Oh, yeah, we got ESPN to fucking cover us. That is sick. Uh, for what? For, for events. Television. For events. Oh. We're going to be on ESPN for all of our pay-per-views for a while. For events only. So, the NBA pay-per-views don't count, but our, our uh, event, like, 
sacrifice is going to be on ESPN. Well, shit, we need events more often then. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I mean, we'll probably do a weekly event. Maybe one called TNA Impact. Just call you, it. No, that. it'll. you cannot support something like that or... What? No, let's put TNA on ESPN. Oh, yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. T- yeah. Okay, so recurring events. What we'll, we'll do? Hold on. Uh, look it up. Uh, schedule weekly. There you go. On a what day? Uh, what would be a good day if people watching ESPN the weekends? Really? Saturdays? Maybe. Uh, no. No, because our pay per views. Fridays? No. Thursdays. Thursdays are safe. Thursday's explosion is shown on Thursdays. So we'd be going in. So it'd be the B show. It comes on before. That's basically what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, we might as well use and abuse that ESPN. Oh my God. Yeah, we can do like three hour fucking, three hour fucking TNA. That'd be crazy ESPN. though. But I mean, that's not something we really want to do. Yeah, just do two hours. TNA on ESPN. So if anybody work. wants to make a picture for us, that'd be great for that. Man, if any of our viewers actually I know. Show. Even if... It, hey. If, uh, oh, wait. AI, oh, wait. If we have the AI book it, we can do special things like hold a battle royal. <laughs> any, we'll have like a local band, maybe. Yeah. Hold money, but it's on ESPN, so we'll gain a lot of money. The rating will be higher. Yeah. But a obviously, our most over guys have to be on this. Yes. We can't have our jobber guys. They can be on the TNA weekly pay-per-views. We can have celebrities come. Not yet. Let's make some money. I keep forgetting that we have ESPN for events. Wait, is that started already? What? The ESPN events. We're doing it now. Look, and plus, TNA on ESPN, right? And then we'll have uh, Sacrifice Against All Odds and Bound for Glory on ESPN. Yeah. Oh, fuck. We're missing pay-per-view revenue. For three months. On them bitches. Well, no, no, no. For three months. How long did we sign for... Uh... Four months is what we signed for those small-time providers. Yeah, how long did we sign with ESPN? Ten months. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get them on a TV deal next time. Yeah. ESPN took a wrestling company in 2004. <laughs> TNA on ESPN. The first night is tonight, so we have to have Sting, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels. Oh, yeah, everybody will be there. Like, we need some big shit. That can auto book itself. I don't care as long as it doesn't book anything crazy. Uh oh, incidents. Here we go. Oh god. Oh man. Oh yeah, it's his protege. His why his is he? Agent. Why are you telling him about tips as a baby face? He's your heel. Te- teach him how to be a heel. Hey, this is how you be a dickhead agent. Yeah. You fucking moron. Jarrett and fucking Sting have been, like, recruiting people as their fucking protégés. Yeah, like, come on, come on, we're going to have a huge blowout Have you here. noticed this? We're going to destroy the backstage rating just one day. Well, no, like, watch, and then Jeff Jarrett and Sting are going to fucking hate each other. You know what? Christopher Daniels should get a title match tonight against Sting. Oh, that'd be just as a one-off, because we know it'll be a good rating. Yeah. Here, I'm going I'm, I'm to auto-book explosion real quick. Uh, where should we put this? Oh, yeah, remember, wherever you put the event, there's going to be to pick something good. Well, how many people are we expecting? We'll go. That I don't know. Go where you pick the arena. 9,000 fans. In the southeast is where we want to hold this. 9,000 fans? Yeah. Holy shit. 10,000 fan. The AL Celebration Center in De- Dector, Alabama. Forty. I mean, there's a whole 9,000 fans. No, it's 10,000. There you go. You have it there. Okay. We'll just have 100 empty seats. Oh, yeah. The wrestling industry is falling, and so is the economy. So that's another reason. So we really need this ESPN money. Hey, it's still good economy, though. So what does that mean? The stock markets are crashing? Hope not. Don't book any title matches. Great matches. Caprice Coleman versus Delaney. Storyline segment with Smoke Joe, Julio De Niro, Col- yeah, Simon Diamond, CM Punk versus Monty Brown. Okay, well, Punk's winning. So let, let's, uh, let's. Yeah, you might want to make Punk win just in case. You don't book title matches, right? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, we do need one thing. And that's just, we really want Bo Rash to get better, so. Who's, who's on tonight? We can interview. Uh, he's going to interview Simon Diamond. Here's my question. My question is, do you want to end the episode before we book TNA on ESPN? No, let's just do it. Make a longer episode out of it. Sure. Simon Diamond wants to work without a script. Oh, dear God. If it's amazing, we got to push this guy. He looked lost out there. All right, well, let's uh, see what the assistant booker did. No, I just like this. Like, okay, that was awful. What? Uh, Delaney versus Caprice Coleman got a 12. It killed the crowd. This match was a terrible way to start the show, and it killed the crowd right away. Good thing it's something stupid, although our crowd's going to be pissed for ESPN. A 27. Why? Okay, that actually did well. Simon Del Diamond uh, improvised well. Got a D. Borash. So Borash is not dead. You know, uh, that's a 52. That's the best thing they're going to have on this match. It all sucked. CM Punk had a 51. Still not suited to his gimmick. Yeah, that was awful. 41D. Oh, shit. Here's our event. We need to start off with something big because we already killed awaiting broadcasters. Oh, had set broadcasters. ESPN. Yep. And we're not going to be on anything else. It's TNA on ESPN. TNA on ESPN. We have to run 10 months of shows. Yep. So 10 months. Well, 40 shows we're basically running. All right, so we got to start this thing off big. Sting. I'm calling out anyone in the... Because this is not going to be continuity. This is something separate from our actual show. Yes. I want this to be like a super show, showing you what TNA is all about, why you should watch. Yeah, why you should buy the pay-per-views. Yeah. So I feel like the first thing should be Sting offers a match to whoever. I feel that uh, Christopher Daniels says, I've been here. You know, I deserve a shot. Yeah. Even if this isn't a good rating. Hopefully Sting carries it. We'll make that about... Eh, let Sting talk for a bit. We'll make it 10 minutes. Okay? All right, so who do we know are good performers? Well, we want Jeff Hardy on there, so we'll have him face uh, Psychosis. Yeah. I just don't know where it's going to fall, but I'm going to make the match. Jeff Hardy, Psychosis? Yeah. All right. Well, we want as much as we can, right? Yeah. This is a super show. Uh, where does Psychosis fall? He's an upper mid. How long should this match be? Like 15 minutes? Know. Yeah, sure. All right. Who do we want to win the first match? Psychosis? Or Hardy? So Psychosis gets more pissed. Oh, well, uh, didn't Hardy lose a shit ton of matches already? Yeah, so he's going to win. Yeah. All right. You can book it. I'm just making whatever you want to make changes to. Or however you want to book it. I'm just trying to think of some quick idea matches. Okay. So... Okay, so maybe have. All right, who are some of our other? We want our tag ch champs on too. So, even though they're not that over, but they're our tag champs, we want them on here. You know what? Let them face Diamond and Swinger for the titles. Even <laughs> Mark Madden's in on Creepy Valley. Yeah, that's funny. Or as it's called, Tuesday at the Penn State Athletic Department. Oh, God. <laughs> um, 
I love people that comment on your shit. Yes, we're talking about Mark Madden, former color commentator in WCW and right. ASW. What what else should be an angle? What do you think will also work that'll that'll really put the fans in where they need to be? Uh, here, get in here. Oh, start oh, oh, okay. Well, get in here. How about how about uh, get in here? And start how about uh, some uh, good old ECW? Uh, how about a good old ECW match? Shane Douglas versus the Sandman. There you go. Man, man, man. I'm not booking anything specifically, so I need you to go in there and actually edit how you want the matches to go. The main event is Sting versus Christopher Daniels, so we know that one. TNA on ESPN. That's going to be the title of this video. This is a super show. We I mean, I know Shane Douglas is... Uh... Oh, yeah. shit, they both have minor negative momentum. Uh, Shane Douglas I'll let the game decide. It's going to decide whoever's more over. I'll let the game decide this one. I really don't care. But remember to actually... We need some angles with guys that are good at talking, this, that, and this. Uh, Nash has a star presence to him, so he needs to have like at least an angle. We know he can't wrestle or shit. Fuck it, we'll have Kevin Nash come out after that match and be like, hey, man, were you looking for me? Well, I'm right here, bitch. Uh-huh. Like, this is Super Show. We well, we can't say bitch on ESPN. I probably would. Yeah. What kinds of people have? We need to put out our biggest stars because this is what's going to help us hopefully make a lot of money. These events. TNA on ESPN. Well, we hope. I mean, if we're expecting almost 10,000 people, what kind of viewers are we going to that's what I mean on ESPN. Late evening. This has nothing to do with... Like, this is going to be the one thing that's going to confuse people if they're not watching. So on this a is, Yeah. Like, why does Kevin Nash have an issue with Shane Douglas? What else can we... Who else can we throw out there? AJ Styles needs to have a match tonight. Not against Jeff Jarrett, I feel. Someone else that's equally as over him. Who's a top heel? Yeah, we want Nash on. We want Nash there. All right, so who does AJ Styles face tonight? We'll add any angles later. We need a top heel for him to face. We still have Masahiro Cho now. There you go. Yeah. He's going to do the J-O-B again. With that legendary gimmick. Yeah. We might as well use and abuse him with the last week we have him, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad because uh, we don't have to uh, have a storyline on this show, no. right? Because we have no storylines. No. So either you're expected to advance at least two storylines. No, it's an event. That's what I'm saying. We don't even need to have storylines. No, we, we don't. For the sake of having... Well, look, we can do the show for an hour and a half. We can do it for exactly two hours, or we can do it for two and a half hours. That's I do all. want some more angles, so maybe Jeff Jarrett comes out, AJ Styles, do this, the, you know, you win. You know, stuff like that. Just so it's like, Jeff, we have Jeff Jarrett, too. See? Oh, yeah, wait. AJ Styles is a little banged up because of the night before. Yeah. So, um... All right, so Jarrett's confident in going out there. Jarrett makes fun We want Dustin Rhodes and D'Lo on this show, too, hurt. so... This is where D'Lo and Dustin Rhodes are... Yeah, yeah, the revenge. They, they beat him up. Yeah. No double J security. They're not over enough to be here yet. We want all our guys we know are going to put on good matches, even if they're not over. If they do good match ratings, we want them here. If they're over, we want them here. This is our showcase. Watch this 
be a complete failure. Yeah. Could be. 102 minutes. Did you already. make that for two minutes? In five minutes. Huh. Remember, I didn't mess much with those beginning things, so I need you to really look at them and tell me what you want here. Yes. An open deckhead. Hmm. All right, so what else can we do? The gathering. I say, yeah, see, I'm like, so this is ESPN, huh? Finally, a larger platform where I can spread my message. <laughs> Next to Owen Menace. Uh, does Brian Danielson have something to say too? I said CM Punk spreads his message through the ESPN airwaves. We're missing. Well, we can't put Raven on. He's dead. Well, no shit. He's on vacation. Maybe a best just to manhandle somebody from an angle. No match, but an angle. Yeah, because we know that these match ratings will get a massive boost. Maybe he does the dirty work for uh, his partners, and he manhandles America's Most Wanted. He's just gonna beat that out of somebody. Fuck. So who can we handle? Delaney. Delaney, yeah. Just a random wrestler in the back. Just like. It's like, that's Abyss. What's the continuity to this? What are you going to say why he attacks the lady? It fucking feels like it. He's Abyss. Yes. All right, so who else we put on this show? That's its main event time or not? Well, how much time we have? 110 minutes. Yeah, I think it should be some, at least make the main event. Okay, so I was thinking they need to tear the house down in a very long match. Like 30 minutes. Because we know Daniels can put on a show. Plus, this will test if he's ready. I don't know if a half hour... Oh, that'd be great. If Sting can handle a half hour. So you want to set this to steal the show? Or slow build? Oh, steal the show is an all-out match. It would have to be a spectacle. Good workers who are over to make these matches. Is Daniels over? Somewhat. He's got some 50s and some 30s. Yeah, no. He's not over enough. I don't think it could be a spectacle. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. He's also in New Japan and all this other shit. So it really helps. Remember, he's Perry Man. Damn, yeah, he's just skyrocketing. Like, yeah, so he got a cash. He's in. also the ROH World Champ. He's yeah. just got that at some point. Yeah, he's Perry Man. Yeah. We just know he's going to put on a great match performance wise and gives him a title match. We want to put our belt on. It's like, look at our belt. Give me your belt. Give me a belt. That's too soon. Oh. Like, way too soon? Extremely too soon. Oh. Is it? Alright, so do we... I think we need 
some angles in here as well. I don't think there should be any interferences to ruin it. Good. What a night this is going to be. Ten segments, but... Really in angles. We want to get people talking. Five matches. We always have that five-match roll. I want to throw in another angle somewhere. I think we should open up the show. Paul Heyman. Welcome to TNA on ESPN. I'm Paul Heyman. Is it his microphone or his entertainment that will get this segment over a lot? Well, he's got a 95 microphone. Yeah. Lock out a few more seconds. Then another guy comes out. I want to know. Shoot open challenge. No, wait, we should technically put Paul Heyman in. Paul, I have a great idea for our first show on ESPN. What is that, Sting? I think I should put an open challenge for you to that kind of thing. You want to add Paul Heyman into that one? So he's like, I agree. Or it doesn't matter. We'll keep it like that. I think this should be good, hopefully. Actually, let's let's pause it here. You have to watch the next episode. I like it. Leave you on a cliffhanger. See how this goes. See you next time. See ya.